Let's talk about some of the developments in the field of computing from Pratyush Mihir Sir, uh, focusing on to blockchain, IoT, and the developments related to net neutrality. Now, CERT is an acronym for India's Computer Emergency Response Team. It has been functioning under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. The idea is to bring in much more security awareness, cyber security, recover from computer-related security incidences, prevent any kind of cyber attack, and reduce the national vulnerability for cyber attacks and this has been implementing a national information security assurance program NISAP. The next is Pratyush and Meher. Now these are among the fastest computers. Now Pratyush is India's fastest and first multi uh, petaflop computing supercomputing system. Both Pratyush and Meher have been part of weather researches. Now Pratyush has been part of the Pune based Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology. It is the first, fourth fastest supercomputer in the world dedicated for weather and climate research very very sensitive for forecast related to cyclones floods cold waves heat waves uh, drought and this has been functioning under ministry of earth sciences the next is meher meher has been uh, part of the National Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting NOIDA. It is uh, India's largest facility for uh, understanding the peak capacity and performance. Also, high performance computer system which focuses on prediction of cyclones, extended period of forecast that could be seen. The next is quantum computing. We have covered a separate lectures on those. Uh, there is a bright future for quantum computing but definitely there are issues related to it which involves huge amount of investment that is there but yes it, once successful it could be used highly in national security uh, artificial intelligence big data and uh, focusing in medicine as one of the major aspects the next is deep learning now deep learning is a subset of machine learning where you have uh, the idea to solve the real world problems and mimic the structures of animal brains so you have various layers of artificial neurons that are used to transcribe human speech to to help person uh, for facial recognition similarly blockchain is again very very important development where we have covered a separate lecture on cryptocurrencies and focused on blockchain technology now this supports the uh, the cryptocurrencies like bitcoins and the idea is every transaction can be validated using blockchain it's much more secure, much more reliable and has been used under various purposes. IoT, Internet of Things is interlinking of the digital devices with people, machine and various appliances through a wireless network and this has been part of India's digital mission under the Department of Electronics and Information Technology and government has set a target of 15 billion USD dollars to market IoT in by 2020. So it brings in much more connectivity, efficiency, cost and time saving purposes that could be seen. The next is ro robotic process automation. Now this is a process which would help you to do the routine daily tasks which are repetitive in nature. So computer softwares can figure out those repetitive tasks and those could be automated through machine learning, natural language processing or speech recognition that could be done. The next is cognitive cloud computing which is an extended ecosystem of the traditional cloud, cloud systems and it helps in conversing human languages. IBM, Microsoft, Google, Cisco have been working with this technology to solve the various complexities of big data problems. The next is a web app which can be created using React and Angular which allows you to navigate through JS or uh, CSS or HTML. The next is intelligent apps. Now this is a software written for mobile devices based on AI and machine learning and aims to make the task much more clear, bring in virtual assistance which is becoming very very popular these days. Bioinformatics is a uh, platform where we are trying to integrate ICT with medical sciences and bring in personalized instructions and enable in students to learn on their own pace. Cyber security is one of the need of the hours. You have various uh, levels under which cyber security has been uh, focused on and there are various types of cyber attacks we have covered a class on cyber attacks separately where we have talked about malware phishing and so on uh, WannaCry was one of the ransomware which is spread in 2017 and India a lot, a lot of cities were affected similarly you have Mirai botnet which affected and infected the smart devices uh, it converts them into remotely controlled bots which were also known as zombies 
companies and this was used to launch the denial of service attack or distributed denial of service attacks the next is apache open office writer now this is a writer of word where you can write a quick entire book and you have various formats and features that are part of apache open source uh, platform similarly typing in regional language you have quillpad and lipicar which have been free online typing tools transliteration technologies have been used for the same font downloading facility available through technology development of indian languages human machine learning and free availability of font to public through various cds have been part of it padma plugin is again important it's a technology for transforming the indic text between the public and the proprietary uh, proprietary formats and languages which are regional like tamil telugu malayalam gujarati marathi have been supported through it encoding has been done and the transformation has been done from uh, the iscii to uh, various transliteration schemes which are present now net neutrality is an interesting concept where we are trying to preserve the rights to communicate freely online through the open networks there is no kind of censorship that is there it should not be able to block any specific application block any specific website any specific domains over the network and there should be no rating for various websites or platforms that are coming up based on uh the freedom to speech okay so uh, that is part of it the next is mobile broadband and landscape over the years we have seen there has been a huge jump in the mobile users but still the technology has not reached a lot so there are some statistics related to it how many people have been using mobile bandwidth how many have been using 2g 3g 4g and so on so that is again important we have been switching to digital mode uh, the next is loon for all now loon is a project of google where you would have balloons that would be floating in a stratosphere twice the height where the aeroplanes might fly and this balloon would be able to provide internet to the remotest part of the world so this through this technology you would have internet connectivity and trans uh, communication connectivity even in times of natural disaster that could be seen and this is one of the very uh, Uh, fine algorithms which have been working to determine the movement of the wind flow and based on that you would have the stability of the looms that would be taken into account so a pilot project was started in 2019 uh, 2013 sorry where nearly 30 balloons were launched in the new zealand south island area as a part of mission to test the internet in those areas cyber dost is an area where you are trying to bring in sensitization of uh, social media users for their twitter accounts for prevention against cyber crimes and this is a kind of twitter handle which has been used for cyber dost so cyber security what are the important elements you should never share your passwords password should be strong uh, you should be aware about any kind of frauds spam emails coming in and reporting of cyber crime has been very very important now what are the components now components focuses on online cyber crime reporting r&d awareness capacity building and the forensic unit and you have the various uh, uh, things which are taken care under the cyber platform so uh, what are the things that we need to focus on is basically much more awareness better use of web platforms uh, conducting awareness programs and brochures olaps is again a very very interesting concept now lab experiments being conducted over internet more efficiently and less expensively is the sole idea where students who do not have access to real physical labs can attend those virtually and understand the concepts and this digital divide brings in this digital um, uh, kind of divide that is there with a school which is well equipped and a school which is not so equipped can be fulfilled through olaps so olaps have been featuring content for ncert cbse and state board syllabus for classes 9 to 12 uh, english as well as maths lessons have been part of the curriculum with much more interactive uh, simulative and animated uh, models and lab videos that are part of it so those were some of the most important concepts that we have discussed in the section on uh, computing a very good luck for your upcoming examination definitely we have a lot more series before your examination so don't miss any of those and definitely a few of the questions are very very predictable as always we have been mentioning those across our lectures so uh, take care for those lectures and 
do practice your past papers a very good luck to all of you have a wonderful